Welcome back to Hawk Talk, your source for all things National Park College Nighthawk Athletics here on the Nighthawk Network. With new interim athletic director Rich Thompson, I'm Mark Oliver, sports information for Nighthawk Nation. Hawk Talk is brought to you by the following sponsors by First Security, Allen Tillery Auto Group, CHI St. Vincent, and Natural Hearing Centers. If you would like to support Nighthawk Athletics, you can do so by visiting us online at np.edu slash athletics. Coach, welcome to your first Hawk Talk, and congratulations on being promoted to Interim Athletic Director here at National Park College. Thanks, Mark. It's exciting times here at National Park. Uh, we got all our sports rolling right now, and and that is throwing me into the, the fire of getting everything organized. Uh, travel, etc. Having everybody here at home as well. So. It's a busy job and of course we're in full swing fall sports here at NPC and let's dive right in. Cross country, great seasons for both the men and the women and this weekend it's our first opportunity to finally see these groups at home in the Van Davis 5k. Yeah, this is an exciting project especially for National Park um, having our runners run in what is really our event. Um, it'll be a great a great turnout for our for our crew um, they will they'll enjoy being at home and getting to run on familiar pavement and of course we can't mention cross country without new cross country head coach Jason Armitage uh, this is a guy that's got a little bit of running experience under his belt and he's a member of just about every club every committee around town tons of experience and super excited to take the reins right in the heart of the season two meets left and then the region two championships right around the corner in October Super exciting, um, especially for Jason to be involved now with cross country. He's, he's a very avid runner. Um, the other exciting part is we actually have Julie LaRue also is joining us as the assistant cross country coach as well. Um, and it's exciting um, to have the expertise of both of those people um, that we already had on staff and they can, can contribute to Nighthawk, Nighthawk Athletics. Soccer is still in full swing as well for the Nighthawks. The Nighthawk men is still undefeated at this point in the season, which is great. A big win over UCA earlier this week, and they play host to Ecclesia at Hot Springs World Class High School coming up on Friday. And then the Nighthawk women return to action after a little bit of a delay. They'll be on the road Sunday at Dallas Cedar Valley. Yeah, exciting times for soccer. Grant and um, Nikolai are doing an exceptional job. Uh, the boys are playing well. Uh, the women are ready to get back going again. Uh, we had a little break with them, but they're really pushing to, to, to do some things down in Dallas this weekend. Um, and it's an exciting trip for everybody. Um, they'll, they'll really be able to see where they stack up on the uh, NJCAA side. Be sure to look for our Nighthawk Network broadcast of men's soccer Friday. For, it's going to kick off at 4 p.m. on YouTube. Uh, Coach, of course, uh, your hands are always full with Nighthawk baseball and your fall schedule well underway. You guys had a pretty nice walk-off win against North Ark. And tell us a little bit about the team's travels as you get set for some big games coming up this week. We have a, a crazy week this week. It's the first time we've ever been to uh, University of Louisiana Lafayette. It's a D1 NCAA program. Uh, we get to face off against Wharton and Galveston, uh, both D1 programs um, in their own rights and, and very uh, exceptional programs. So it'll be a nice test for our boys to see where they stack up on that side. Uh, we also go to OBU for the first time to play against their crew um, not too far away here in uh, Arkadelphia. So that's an exciting Exciting week ahead for our boys. They're uh, they're ready to go and 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 uh, sort of test their will against some really exceptional competition. Yeah, a lot of big things happening for your program. Big things happening for Coach Autumn Wyatt's softball program as well. Deep into the heart of fall exhibition season, and this weekend, kind of an interesting opportunity as uh, NPC will play host to the Sticks and the Firecrackers and some exhibition games at Lake Hamilton High School this weekend. Yeah, this is an exciting, um, exciting side for Nighthawk, Nighthawk Athletics. We get to see uh, potential student athletes that might be here in 12 months' time um, or even two years' time. So it's, it's one of those things that we haven't done a whole lot of. Um, I know other, other schools definitely do this. Um, but it kills two birds with one stone in the fact that you get to recruit at the same time you get to, to get some work in. No matter which sport you're a fan of here in Nighthawk Nation, there's something for everybody. Everybody's in full swing, even Nighthawk men and women's basketball, just right around the corner, just about a month away 
from those first games. And we've had an opportunity to see them. We had our photo shoot earlier last week. And these teams are going to impress the fans this year. 100%. Uh, it's, it's exciting times over there with um, Dylan and uh, Dominique. Actually, Dylan goes to Wichita this weekend as well. It's uh, it's crazy. We've got all eight sports rolling on, on one weekend. Uh, they will go to Wichita and, and play in a tournament up there. Uh, so that will be a, an, a, a great test to see how they're gelling as a team. Obviously, with basketball and those sports that you do need to be uh, all on the same page and knowing where everyone's going. So it'll be exciting for them to get, get the shoes on and, and go hard in the gym for the first time. You can follow the Nighthawks on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter for Coach Rich Thompson. I'm Mark Oliver. This has been Hawk Talk on the Nighthawk Network. It's a beautiful day for soccer deep in the heart of Arkansas, live from Hot Springs World Class High School in beautiful Hot Springs, Arkansas. This is National Park College Nighthawk Men's Soccer on your home for Nighthawk Athletics, the Nighthawk Network, live on YouTube. Good afternoon to you. My name is Mark Oliver, Sports Information Director for National Park College, and thank you for tuning in to this edition of Nighthawk Athletics. Today's broadcast is brought to you by the following sponsors by Natural Hearing Centers. Also by Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services. By Allen Tillery Auto Group in Hot Springs. By First Security Bank, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics this season, CHI St. Vincent, and by Hot Springs Sports Medicine and Physical Therapy. So after starting the season with three ties, 0-0-3, the National Park Nighthawks have reeled off its first three-game winning streak in program history. The month of September has been very kind to the men of National Park College, coming in and riding this three-game winning streak as they play host to the Royals of Ecclesia College, making the trip down from Springdale, Arkansas today. And we apologize for the delayed start in today's action. Team got stuck and some traffic on the way down and we were able to accommodate with an adjusted game time as we are just underway here. The Royals 0-3 this season and they're looking for win number one on the year as National Park College looks to keep the wins rolling. I'd like to thank everyone for tuning into the broadcast today on the Nighthawk Network. Let us know where you're watching from. Doesn't matter if you're a fan of the Royals, fan of the Nighthawks, if you love soccer, or maybe you found us by accident. Let us know where you're watching from, who you're excited to see. We'd love to give you a shout out on the live stream today. So the Royals pressuring early, and the Nighthawk keeper is going to lose it. There's an open goal, and that's the second goal of the season for Ecclesia. They'll start things off with an open goal to take the lead 1-0 in this one.
The Royals got the pressure in early, took advantage, and now the scoreboard favors the boys in blue. Felix Rocco with the kickoff for NPC, coming back the other way. David Montalongo trying to get it back with the header. Won't go. Royals take over. NPC looking for a quick answer here. The Nighthawks have evolved this season into a team that loves to score and can score quickly. We've got a foul down on the field as the player goes down. And it's going to be Nighthawk ball. Steven Torres to kick it off for NPC. Torres, a second-year player for National Park College, originally from Florida, also is our featured Nighthawk player of today's game as he launches that one directly to the goal, reeled in by the keeper, number one, Eduardo De La Torre. Steven Torres, our featured Nighthawk player of the game, will have his interview coming up during the halftime segment of today's broadcast. Here comes the throw in by Ecclesia. Inbounds, Nighthawks try to control it. Matthew Farias able to come in and grab the ball. Nighthawks looking to turn it around here. Shot on goal, blocked away. Nighthawks playing aggressive soccer to start here after going down quickly, one nothing here in the first half. Corner kick on its way from Felix Rocca. Felix joins the Nighthawks from Germany this season, one of the many newcomers for NPC in 2022. As that one sails out of bounds, the Nighthawks will recover. The throw in, fielded by David Montalongo. It's knocked away. It's going to stay with the home team, National Park College. Nighthawks trying to reset here. They're going to kick it all the way back towards the keeper. Trying to create space. Farias controls it in the middle. Now the Nighthawks find some room to work with here. Taken away by the Royals. Downfield, it's a foot race. Ecclesia threatening. There is a whistle. Breaking the action, want to say hello to Paul watching from Wales United Kingdom today. Thank you so much for tuning in to Nighthawk Soccer today. Also Edgardo watching, representing the Hot Springs Soccer Association. Glad to have you with us this afternoon. Ecclesia will have a kick coming up. Nighthawks looking to defend. Kick is up and it's going to sail high over the goal out of play. NPC looking to get it started here. Carlos Sanchez down the line. Ball is popped up. Back and forth we go. Nighthawks 
Looking to control. Matthew Farias near midfield. Sanchez mans the line for NPC, finds a running lane. David Montalongo in the middle with Steven Torres. And they'll work it down the opposite side. Launched into Royals territory. Ball will go away. And NPC will have it. Throw in by the Nighthawks coming up. Ball is in play, a scrum for it here. The Royals able to turn it around, trying to take it the other way. Nighthawks with an opportunity to pick up the loose ball. They do. Carlos Menendez brings it down to Carlos Sanchez down on the line. Now the Royals find an opportunity, booting it downfield. Here comes Ecclesia. Launched in towards the goal, up and over, out of bounds. Nighthawks will take over, trailing one nothing. Deep kick from the Nighthawk keeper. A header at midfield, now into Royals territory. Coming the other way, Rocca with the ball. Montalongo moving it downfield. Launched in toward the goal, wide right, no good. On the shot by Carlos Menendez. And Ecclesia will take over. That one launched deep into Nighthawk territory. Nighthawks fight for possession as that one is going to bounce out of bounds. We'll go back to the home team. Back in action down the far sideline. Out of bounds. Nighthawks will have it. Each team trading possessions here early in the first. Royals trying to work it down in the corner, but we're going to have a penalty here against the Royals. It'll be offsides. National Park will have it. Nighthawks deep in their own territory. Royals starting to close in. They'll boot it away towards midfield. David Montalongo there. Felix Rocca. Trying to keep it in play for the home team. Menendez in trouble. Will reset back to his team north, uh, to around, around the middle. Headed in toward the corner. Opportunity for the Nighthawks. It's stripped away. Ball is kicked out of play. NPC will have it. Good aggression inside Ecclesia territory from Carlos Menendez, Cesar Becerra. As they try to even the score here in the first half. Kicked away downfield. Menendez looking for a play here. Finds Carlos Sanchez on the near sideline. Inside the goalie box with nowhere to go. Kicked downfield and launched away by the Nighthawk keeper. 
And we'll have a whistle on the play to stop the play. We have an Ecclesia player down off camera. And while the training staff tends to them, we'll take a small break. one nothing Ecclesia. This is Nighthawk Men's Soccer on the Nighthawk Network. If you or a loved one is suffering from hearing loss and looking for life-changing technologies and compassionate care, the Natural Hearing Centers is the place. They truly take the time to build a genuine relationship with you, which makes all the difference in the world. I love the fact that John's hearing aids have helped him reconnect with family and friends, and it's improved every aspect of his life and mine. Give Natural Hearing Centers a call today. It will change your life. Baseball is how I rise above alcohol and drugs. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here, and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Back here at Hot Springs World Class High School. The injured player for Ecclesia taken off the field, being assessed by the training staff. We'll get you an update on that situation as soon as possible. Today's game is brought to you by Natural Hearing Centers in Hot Springs, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics this season. one nothing. Ecclesia took the lead early in this one. Found an open goal for NPC and drained it. It's just the second goal of the year for the Royals who entered today's game 0-3. Nighthawks looking to return the favor here though. They've had very aggressive drives and a launch towards the net. Just a little bit high off the boot of Carlos Menendez. Eduardo De La Torre, the kicker for Ecclesia. And each team trading possessions here back into Royals territory here. Fielded back to De La Torre. And Ecclesia just trying to play keep away here. The Nighthawks aggressive on offense. We've got a bump here and a whistle blown. A collision as Sanchez collides with a player from Ecclesia. So the Royals will have it inside Nighthawk territory. Ronnie Flores to kick it in play. The kick from Flores out toward the middle. Kicked away toward the net. It's going to stay inbounds. Now an opportunity here inside Nighthawk territory. Launched in and saved by the keeper. A big block by the Nighthawks. And now they'll take it the other way. Down in the corner is Menendez. Needs help, tries to break free here, scooting down the baseline, knocked down on the play, no whistle. Ecclesia boots it out of bounds. So the Nighthawks are gonna have it from the corner. Carlos Sanchez to throw it in. And Montalongo leading the middle.
Steven Torres, the last line of defense, gets it back into Royals territory. Nighthawks have done well to keep it off their side of the field. Push out of bounds. And the Nighthawks will have it. Sanchez with the throw in. Throw it in once again, looking for Felix Rocca. There's a push and a whistle. It's been a physical one so far here in Hot Springs World Class High School. We've seen a lot of Carlos Sanchez action early in this one. So he gets set to boot it in from the near sideline. Up and away. A header from the Royals to control it. And back the other way we go. Nighthawks able to take it away. Booted away. Rocca has it on the near side. Looking to set up a pass downfield. Paul Gonzalez fires one in just away. Menendez is there to recover on the opposite side. Pass intended for Gonzalez goes away. Ecclesia comes up with it. From the far sideline, here come the Nighthawks. A trip, no whistle. Another collision, and that one does get the stoppage in play. As a Nighthawk and a Royal collided. So the Nighthawks will have a kick coming up and a big opportunity to try to equalize this game. Paul Gonzalez to kick it for the Nighthawks. On its way, booted high out of play. So the Royals will have it. On its way toward midfield, Nighthawks looking to get it back and they'll boot it back into Ecclesia territory. Fielded by the keeper. Omar Uribari boots that one downfield, looking for Menendez too high, out of play. Back in play. Nice stop by the Nighthawks. David Montalongo, Felix Rocca, trying to make something of it. Montalongo boots one away, out of play. Montalongo had a big goal earlier in the week, helping in that one nothing decision. Big win over University of Central Arkansas and Conway. 
has been a big leader for this program this year. Second year player. As the ball goes out of play over to Ecclesia. Alexander Amezkitar to kick it in. And that one is up and over the head of Luke Berry, the Nighthawk keeper. And NPC will have it. No attempt at the ball there. Nighthawks will have it back. Carlos Sanchez to bring it in. Back and forth we go. Paul Gonzalez getting a boot on it. Kicks it away. Ecclesia will maintain possession. about halfway through the first half here at Hot Springs World Class High School. one nothing Ecclesia. They found the back of the net early. First couple of minutes of today's game. Since then, it's been a lot of back and forth, but the Nighthawks have played aggressive. Multiple shots on goal. Just looking to poke one through to tie this thing up. We have a player coming off the field for Ecclesia. Stepping in in his place is number seven, Ed Samarita. Amez Qatar with the possession, trying to put a score in. Boots one in toward Barry. It's up and it's over. Nighthawks dodge a bullet. With the kick lined up, here's Luke Berry. Up and away. Rocca, deep inside Royal Territory, fires one in, it's good. The equalizer from Felix Rocca. Puts the Nighthawks on the board. We're tied. Big goal. The young man from Germany about 25 minutes into the first half. anybody's ball game. Nighthawks looking for win number four in a row. Ecclesia looking for its first win of the season. So let's see how the Royals will respond here now that the lead has disappeared. We'll have a whistle. Another collision. And the Royals cough it up to NPC. Sanchez 
delivers one downfield. Nighthawks looking to create space here. Starter step launch downfield into Royals territory. There's Gonzalez and Rocca. As that one goes out of play. Daniel David checks in for NPC and for Montelongo at the midfield. That one's booted up and near the goal knocked away. Rocca turns and fires again off the hands of the keeper and just outside the net. He's looking for back-to-back -back scores for NPC. So the Nighthawks are feeling it here in the first half. Booted in from the corner. We'll have a whistle, and I believe this one's going to be off sides. Ecclesia will take over. About 28 minutes into the first half here. Booted downfield. Here come the Royals. Taken away by Sanchez and the Nighthawks. And a reset back deep with Steven Torres. Saved by Menendez. Carlos making his way downfield, trying to set up a pass with David. Can't get it. Taken away by Torres to stop the play. Good out by NPC. Here's the throw in once again. Torres knocks it away, just allows his team the time to catch up. So the Royals will have it inside Nighthawk territory. Luke Berry and the guys stand at the ready. That one launched in, left of the net, out of play. Barry delivers downfield. And a push off. It's going to be a foul against Ecclesia. Omar Uribari at midfield. Daniel David. And that one poked in. But it'll be offsides against the home team. Paul Gonzalez was looking to try to gain the lead for the home team. Downfield is Carlos Menendez. He'll find Carlos Sanchez. Down toward the corner. Menendez keeps it in, boots it in near the goal. And that one is just stopped shy. Picked up by the keeper, De La Torre. Ecclesia looking to make use of the mismatch downfield. But the Nighthawks will boot it away. Loose ball picked up by NPC. Fed in towards Menendez. Here's an opportunity. Corrals it. Boots it in toward the middle. It's launched away by the Royals. A great play to end the threat. 31 minutes through the first half here at Hot Springs World Class High School. 
Nighthawks will have it in the corner. Felix Rocca to kick it. That one's out of bounds. The Nighthawks say the Royals touched it last. And I believe that is the case. So Rocca will try again from the corner. Rocco awaits the green light. We have a substitution that has checked in for Ecclesia. And here we go. The kick from Rocca is up and away. Has the distance. Open in the middle. Gonzalez fires. Won't go. Booted away. They'll get a reset here. A big denial by the Royals to end the threat. Gonzalez nearly poked it in. Couldn't get it done there. Nighthawks will ready a substitution. Carlos Menendez takes a seat. Tobias Minkus checks in. Another German joining National Park College this season. We'll also see Damian Soto into the game for National Park. These new guys coming in this year have made a big impact for this team. Here's the corner kick. High Minkus with the header. Can't keep it in play. But a lot of these new faces have really changed the game for National Park College this year. Last year being the first year in program history. This year the Nighthawks putting together a string of wins. On the final day of September, the Nighthawks looking to stay undefeated on the 2022 season. What a difference a year makes. Coach Grant Gartner stepping in into the interim head coach role just before the season started, served as the team's assistant last year. Has earned the trust and respect of these young men. Downfield, here come the Royals. They keep it in play. Minkus is going to boot it. Back to the keeper. The Nighthawks will try to move it back downfield in the Royals' territory. Minkus, a big delivery. Downfield, sends Paul Gonzalez running for it, but he can't catch up to it. And the Royals will have it. Roughly about 10 minutes left in the first half of action here from Hot Springs World Class High School. Don't forget, we'll have our featured Nighthawk player of the game interview with Steven Torres coming up during halftime. Nighthawks looking to turn it around there. Rocca to Gonzalez. Daniel David trying to find space there. They'll boot it back for a reset. There's a collision downfield. A Royal is down and slow to get up. Edder Aguirre appears to be the injured player for Ecclesia.
still down on the field. Don't see the call for the training staff yet. He's slow to get up. And he is back up on his feet. Good news. Damian Soto rushing out on the field to offer him a glass of water. And we hope to see him back in action again soon. We have a quick time out on the field. We'll be back in a moment. Nighthawk Men's Soccer is on the Nighthawk Network. If you or a loved one is suffering from hearing loss and looking for life-changing technologies and compassionate care, the Natural Hearing Centers is the place. They truly take the time to build a genuine relationship with you, which makes all the difference in the world. I love the fact that John's hearing aids have helped him reconnect with family and friends, and it's improved every aspect of his life and mine. Give Natural Hearing Centers a call today. It Today's game is brought to you by Allen Tillery Auto Group in Hot Springs, a proud sponsor of Nighthawk Athletics in 2022. I'm Mark Oliver with National Park College. 1-1. Ecclesi has started off the scoring early in this one, but midway through the first half, the Nighthawks were able to get it done on a kick from Felix Rocca to tie things up. And after a quick water break for each team, we're back in action. As we move into the later stages of the first half here from Hot Springs World Class High School. Back in action, Royals will have the possession here. Nighthawks with an opportunity, Rocca. Tries to stay with it. Damian Soto takes it away, trying to get a reset here. Booted away by the Royals. The Nighthawks will have it. It's been aggressive offense all game long for National Park College. Even trailing 1 0 very early in this game, they've never lost sight of that goal. Throw in from Sanchez goes awry, picked up by De La Torre on the far side, and the keeper set to launch it away for Ecclesia. He'll boom it downfield. Daniel David, a good recovery for NPC Montelongo, looking for Gonzalez, and that will sail out of bounds. Good touches by the Nighthawk men so far. That one thrown in to Gonzalez on the far sideline. He'll stay with it before the Royals booted away downfield. The Nighthawks are just going to let it soar. And we'll have a reset. Roughly about six minutes remaining in the first half of action here in Hot Springs. Anybody's ball game. Here's Tobias Minkus. Downfield to Carlos Sanchez. Nighthawks trying to draw the Royals in and then boot it over their heads, creating a mismatch downfield. Downfield a wide open Carlos Sanchez. Soto stays with it, looking for some help on the inside, and now a run in, booted out to the Nighthawks on the far end. Montelongo launches one in. There's a header. Soto trying to corral it. In the corner, Ecclesia looking to make something of it. It's out of bounds, last touched by a Nighthawk. Here's the throw in from the Royals. Daniel David fields it for the Nighthawks. Inside the goalie box, kicked away. The Nighthawks are there, looking to do something with it here. Ball fielded by Patrick Chan. 
Here's Damian Soto working his way up toward the middle. Montelongo is there. David Montelongo fires it away high. The kick from the Royals. Deep downfield, picked up by Carlos Sanchez. There's a scrum for it. Sanchez has time down the sidelines. And he will be just inbounds, it appears. Booted away by the Royals. Steven Torres is there. Loose ball downfield. Damian Soto gives chase, boots it off of a player. It'll be Nighthawk ball in the corner. Appears that Felix Rocca will kick it. Rocca with the equalizer for NPC midway through the first half. As we approach the late stages of the first half. Nighthawks looking for another opportunity here. Looking to take the lead before halftime. Soto with a stutter step downfield. Gonzalez boots it in. Looking for help. Can't get it. And the Nighthawks will reset with Patrick Chan. Launched in towards the net, off the top of the crossbar. Montelongo fires again, just left of the net. A near miss. Final minutes of the first half. It's been a good one so far. Royals to kick it away. Yuri Bari with the header. Monolongo stays with it. And nowhere to go. An errant pass for the Nighthawks. They'll cough it up. Here's the inbound. And out of bounds we go. Nighthawks will have it. Sanchez to throw it in. Finds Soto. He's double teamed, needs help. Has it stripped away. Stays in bounds. Each team trading possession stuck on the sideline. Downfield we go. Minkus gives chase. Makes a man miss. Downfield we go. Picked up by the Nighthawks. Kenny Velasquez making his way downfield. Velasquez fires into the goalie box. Reeled in by the keeper. De La Torre able to hang on to it. Close call there for the Royals. David Montelongo on the move, fields it to Felix Rocca, off the hands of the goalkeeper. Another great shot by NPC, really making Ecclesia work for it here. At midfield, the Nighthawks control it. Downfield, back and forth we go. Velasquez pushed out of the way. 
Now a foot race as the Royals take over in Nighthawk territory. Sanchez gives chase, tries to take it away. Knocked down on the play. We do have a whistle. And I believe this will be against Ecclesia. It is a yellow card. National Park will have it. Toby Minkus will kick it in. Here we go. Downfield, the Nighthawks look to set it up. Torres boots one deep downfield. And we have a push off. This time it'll be signaled against the Nighthawks, Felix Rocca. Ecclesia knows that time is not on its side. With the first half ending soon. The kick from Ecclesia on its way. Fielded by the Royals inside Nighthawk territory. Soto and Gonzalez struggling. Soto comes up with it. Nighthawks on the move. Far sideline. Chan feeds it to Rocca. No, out of bounds. NPC will have it coming the other way. They'll kick it down to the keeper for a reset. Luke Berry gets it back in play. Torres downfield. Montalongo can't receive it. And it's kicked out of bounds. Thrown in by the Royals. Nighthawk player knocked down on the play, no whistle. There's a shove. And the ball will be launched into Nighthawk territory. Sanchez gives chase. Barry will reel it in. Nighthawk's playing keep away here. Minkus down the line. Montalongo comes up with it. Opportunity for NPC. Here's Damian Soto. Fancy footwork. In the goalie box, they'll reset up high. Rocca turns and fires. It's wide left. The kickoff from Ecclesia. Booted away by Minkus. That'll allow his team to catch up to him. Royals looking to turn it around. Have not been very many shots on goal in this one. Offensively, it's been mostly the Nighthawks. Damian Soto downfield. Looking for Patrick Chan. 
Nothing going there for the Nighthawks. Uribari trying to hang on to it. Can't. It's out of bounds. NPC will have it. And he'll need some help. How about a boot from Steven Torres downfield? Felix Rocca is there. Noah Searle out there as well. Royals on the move. That one's booted away. Soto fields it inside Royal territory. David Montalongo creeping in closer for the home team. Back at it, trying to get the ball back, and it's kicked away. Stays inside Ecclesia territory. Sanchez de Soto, Montalongo is there, and it's knocked away. Montalongo is looking for a whistle, didn't get it. And that's going to be the end of the first half of action here from Hot Springs World Class High School. 45 minutes in the books, and we're all tied up at 1 apiece. We'll head to halftime. Coming up next, it's our featured Nighthawk Player of the Game interview with Steven Torres. But first, a little bit of Nighthawk game day trivia for you. A new segment that we have unveiled for our Nighthawk athletics broadcasts across the board for National Park College this season. And we thought we'd throw you an easy one on your soccer Friday today. Since we are playing at Hot Springs World Class High School, we want to know which Nighthawk played for Hot Springs World Class High School. Was it A, Steven Torres, B, David Montalongo, C, Osvaldo Diaz, or D, Christian Javel? The answer after this, here on the Nighthawk Network. National Park Nighthawk Men's Soccer is on the Nighthawk Network, your official home for Nighthawk athletics this season. Our featured men's soccer player of the week, Mr. Steven Torres. Steven, you helped lay the groundwork for this team, this program a year ago. You're back for year number two. What was it that drove you to return and to keep making history for men's soccer here at NPC? Seeing the guys, how they're hungry for more. You know, last year was really unfortunate. We had a bad year, and the guys wanted to win. So I was like, let's go. Let's, let's go for it. Yeah, and you guys brought in a bunch of new faces this year to help uh, achieve those goals, help get the job done. And we can tell when we see you out on the field, this is a team that's playing with unfinished business and ready to prove themselves and, and, and really show the community what you guys are capable of. And what you are capable of so far as we head into the end of September, this is a team that hasn't lost a match yet. So a huge turnaround from last year's team, and we all want to know what the secret to success is this year. Honestly, uh, I think we always had that, that dog mentality, like to go hard every game. But this year, you know, we brought in some, some guys who can really play, and uh, there's no secret. Every, every practice is a battle. Everybody's working, and we all want it. So let's keep going. Of course, you guys faced a challenge right at the beginning of the season. Coach Kevin Tello leaves. Coach Grant Gartner steps in. A familiar face taking over the head coaching reins. But what has it been like working under Grant, that leadership style that seems to be working for you guys this year? Well, the good thing is uh, Tello, Tello still remains you know, in our contacts. He still helps us out when we need it. But Grant has really stepped up and, and he's really, you know, he's been there for us. He's helped us. He's taught us a lot of things in practice and He's doing a great job. Nothing else I can really ask him to do. You guys are gritty and you're hungry and you're, you're physical. You get out there and, and you give it everything for the entire match. And this week, uh, I imagine the game plan will be the same. Ecclesia comes to town. What is the game plan for Friday in order to maybe get another big win this season? Honestly, it stays the same. Let's, let's go out there, leave it all in the field, and let's get another win. Stay undefeated. Nothing much, nothing much to it. 
October is right around the corner. The Region 2 Championships are right around the corner. What are some of the goals that you're working toward and what Coach Gartner is working toward with your team? Uh, the first thing is to be North Arc twice. We be North Arc twice. We have a we have a way into nationals, and I honestly national championship something from nothing. That's the ultimate goal, just to make it as far as we can. Yeah, and you could be the very first program in NPC history to reach the national championship. So it's certainly a very big goal there. Stephen, we have loved watching you and your brothers grow and, and excel and, and impress in the game as a member of the National Park Nighthawks. Congratulations on the honor this week. Is there anybody that you'd like to say hello to who may be watching? Uh, my family back in Florida. I miss you guys. Um, <laughs> my dorm. 118, um, Christian, Chris Bangs, Chris D, I miss you guys. And uh, yeah, pretty much just it, yeah. Steven Torres of Nighthawk Men's Soccer. You can follow National Park College on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. For Steven Torres, I'm Mark Oliver. This is Nighthawk Men's Soccer on the Nighthawk Network. If you or a loved one is suffering from hearing loss and looking for life-changing technologies and compassionate care, the Natural Hearing Centers is the place. They truly take the time to build a genuine relationship with you, which makes all the difference in the world. I love the fact that John's hearing aids have helped him reconnect with family and friends, and it's improved every aspect of his life and mine. Give Natural Hearing Centers a call today. It will change your life. Baseball is how I rise above alcohol and drugs. Arkansans appreciate community. We work and raise families, care for our neighbors, and come together in good times and bad. At First Security, that local strength is what we love best about our home state. There is commitment here and heart, and hope. Thank you to everyone who is standing together, learning from one another, and making Arkansas a place we all love to call home. We're proud to be your community bank. Success comes with many challenges. At National Park College, we've created programs that provide the tools to meet those challenges. Experience a university atmosphere at half the cost. Visit National Park College and find your path. Once again, your game day trivia question for today's game. Which Nighthawk played for Hot Springs World Class High School? Was it A, Steven Torres, B, David Montalongo, C, Osvaldo Diaz, or D, Christian Javel? If you answered D, you're right. 
Back here at Hot Springs World Class High School, I'm Mark Oliver, Sports Information Director for National Park College. Glad to have you with us here on a very cool Friday. The weather finally feeling like fall, and I know nobody is happier than a lot of these guys that uh, didn't come from Arkansas originally and then came and joined an Arkansas program and were like, whoa, this summer heat is out of control, man. So uh, the fall temperatures, a lot of them say it feels a lot more like home and what I'm used to and uh, a good start for the Nighthawks in today's action so far. Before we start the second half, we'd like to remind you that today's game is brought to you by Natural Hearing Centers, Washita Children, Youth and Family Services, Allen Tillery Auto Group, CHI St. Vincent, First Security, and Hot Springs Sports Medicine. In the first half, it was Ecclesia that got things done quickly. They got on the board early on an open goal, and since then, it's been all National Park College in this one. They were able to equalize it on a kick from Felix Rocca about midway through the first half, and the National Park Nighthawks have controlled the the football for the most of the time today inside Royals territory. Just one shot on goal for the Royals today compared to eight for National Park College. Now the Nighthawks looking to break the stalemate and see if they can make it four wins in a row for the first time in program history. Of course, the team is enjoying its best season in program history. Started off the month of August with three ties in a row, and the Nighthawks said they, they were hungry to get those wins. They finally did a win over the University of Central Arkansas back on September 12th, and since then they've reeled off wins against Williams Baptist University in Walnut Ridge, and then a trip back to Conway not so long ago where they knocked off UCA for the second time this month. The first meeting between the Ecclesia Royals and the National Park Nighthawks this season and NPC looking to get it done and making it four in a row. We're back underway here in the second half, 5.03 p.m. And the Royals will start with the possession here. Had a chance to listen in to Coach Grant Gartner's halftime speech for the Nighthawk man and uh, very fiery speech, trying to get him motivated and energized and come out strong. Keep the same pace and momentum that they had throughout the majority of the first half. That ball is booted away out of bounds, and it will go to National Park College. Here's the throw in. See a lot of new faces on the field for Nighthawk Nation here. We'll get you some of those names here momentarily. Here's Paul Gonzalez and a shot up off the bar, a denial. That's the second time today we've seen that for the Nighthawks. A shot on goal that bounced off the bar would have went in otherwise. This one launched in down toward the near sideline. Paul Gonzalez, it's booted back to Patrick Chan. Loose ball picked up by Ecclesia. Damian Soto, David Montalongo trying to get it. There's a foot race downfield. Tobias Minkus looks to turn it around. Can't do it, but NPC will have it. Here's Steven Torres. Some of the notable names on the field for National Park College here in the second half. We see Andre Uriondo on the field, as well as David Luis Rubio. We mentioned Patrick Chan, David Montalongo out there, Paul Gonzalez, Felix Rocca, Steven Torres, Carlos Menendez. This one will stay with National Park College. Nighthawks will have it from the corner. I believe that's Felix Rocca to bring it in. 
Here's the kick, launched in toward the goalie box, kicked out, saved by Montelongo to keep it close. Now it's a foot race. The Royals, a collision, and this one is going to be going to Ecclesia, I believe. We have a Nighthawk player slow to get up. Multiple collisions occurring on the play, and we'll have an official timeout. And the training staff is going to come out and look at, I believe, David Montelongo. And he's going to take a moment and come off the field. In his place, we'll see Kenneth Velasquez. And Ecclesia will have it when we resume play. Nice header there by Velasquez and the Nighthawks. NPC looking to take back over here. Booted away. Rocca near midfield. Can't control it. Ecclesia turns it around. And we'll have another foul. This will be Ecclesia with the possession. I'd like to say a special hello to Robbie listening in Mexico City. Cheering on David Montelongo today. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of Nighthawk Men's Soccer. We had a lot of questions and comments in on the social media channels this week saying, hey, is this really just the second home game for Nighthawk Men's Soccer this season? Yeah, it is. Not many broadcasts this year. These guys have been road warriors all season long. And we're thankful for some of our opponents that have offered live streams. This group is seriously very fun to watch. The amount of passion that they play with, the grit, the tenacity. This is a team that has big goals. If you had a chance to watch Steven Torres' interview during the halftime segment, they've got their eye on the prize. They want to represent this community and this state in the national championships and they believe they have what it takes to get there. Not bad for a second year program. So Ecclesia will have it. Roughly 50 yards away from the Nighthawk net. That one booted in. The header takes it the other way, down into the corner, and no play to be made. It's out of bounds, and Ecclesia fine with it. They'll just take it from the corner. Paulino Ruiz, the Nighthawk keeper here in the second half. That one booted in, Ruiz, right place, right time to reel it in and save it. And now he'll launch that one away. Out towards midfield, Menendez and Rocca looking to control it for the Nighthawks. Down the sideline is Patrick Chan, he's tripped up and it was going to stay in bounds. Last touched by a Royal as Paul Gonzalez was looking to make a play. Velasquez gets it down to Chan on the near sideline. That one booted away by the Royals. Chan will get a reset. That one launched in by Menendez. Just off the side of the net, it won't go. Another near miss 
on the shot on goal by National Park College. Minkus with the header. The Nighthawks trying to keep it inside Royals territory. Good steal by Velasquez. Down the sideline we go, out of play. Ecclesia will have it. 37 minutes remaining in regulation today. Tobias Minkus doing a great job defensively for NPC. Another collision as Velasquez collides with a Royal. I believe they hit face to face. It appears that they are okay and will stay in. Felix Rocca to launch it downfield inside the goalie box and Minkus was trying to get a header to get it into the net nothing going there and we'll just have a reset Ecclesia will have it here's the kick Ruiz able to scoop it up. And now roll it out. Chan. Or excuse me, that is number 15, Luis Rubio. And Ecclesia will have it in Nighthawk territory. And a mismatch, a miscommunication, if you will, on the throw in. NPC takes right back over. Patrick Chan, the Aussie on the team for NPC. That one's booted away. Velasquez looking for a steal. Very aggressive defense coming in from the home team here. Gonzalez swarms to it. There's a steal and a takeaway. Here come the Nighthawks. Ismael Garcia passes it out. Menendez fires it into the goal. The Nighthawks are going to take the lead. Carlos Menendez. High fives and handshakes incoming. NPC leads 2-1. Eleven minutes into the second half, the Nighthawks find the back of the net. And that puts NPC in the driver's seat. Ecclesia has struggled to get deep inside Nighthawk territory for the majority of the match. Trailing for the first time today. Steven Torres there to save it inside Royal Territory. And booted away. David Rubio just heads it out of bounds. Buys his team the time they need to catch up. Back in play. Ecclesia trying to turn up the tempo, trying to turn the tables. Now down by one. Nighthawks looking to keep their foot on the gas. Here's Menendez shortly after converting that goal. You can see him out there playing on turbo. Nighthawks moving the ball well. Garcia down to Menendez near the corner. Menendez fires it in, and it's reeled in by the keeper. He'll throw it away to try to create space while the Nighthawks 
converge on the ball. Down the sideline, here come the Royals in Nighthawk territory. Good pass. Minkus in pursuit for NPC. Gets a foot on it. Gets the steal. And downfield we go. Loose ball. Headed down toward the corner. Menendez can't get it. Young man's been running and running nonstop since scoring that goal. He's feeling it. Substitution checking in for the home team. We'll see Osvaldo Diaz entering the fray. Ozzy, a second-year player for National Park College this season. One of these many returning veterans with unfinished business this season. Last year was just the beginning, gave him a taste. This year, the team's eating. Winners of three straight in the driver's seat for win number four today. They're looking ahead into the month of October undefeated. Coming the other way is Steven Torres. Loose ball, he'll let Paulino Ruiz reel it in. And now it's up to the Nighthawks to just play tough defense here. 14 minutes into the second half. Roughly a third of the way through this final period. There's a steal by Ecclesia trying to bring it the other way. The guys from Springdale looking to even the score here. A foul on the play as a Royals player goes down. Ecclesia will have it. Ruiz guarding the front of the net. The wall is set up. Here's the kick. It's up high. A header boots it away right of the goal. No good. And Ecclesia will maintain possession. Ball's going to be in the corner. Fifteen minutes off the clock here in the second half. Good save and kick away. David Rubio. The Nighthawks broke the 1-1 stalemate about 11 minutes into the second half. Carlos Menendez with some shifty footwork. And getting the job done, making a man miss. Ecclesia now with an opportunity, and that one's booted away. Nighthawks looking to tighten things up on defense here. Here's a steal. And now downfield, it's a foot race. Body block by Patrick Chan, a great move. Nighthawks continue to push. We're going to have a whistle down. A Nighthawk player is down. And I believe we're going to have a card coming against Ecclesia here. There appears to be no card. Just a stern talking to, if you will. Darian Perez is the royal that is signaled with the foul. And... Now the head official will talk things over with Coach Grant Gartner on the Nighthawk bench and inform him on the situation unfolding here. And we're set to resume play. Roughly 27 minutes remaining in regulation that one booted in deep toward the Ecclesia keeper. Eduardo De La Torre. 
on its way the other way. Tobias Minkus for NPC. De La Torre will kick it the other way. Kenneth Velasquez in the middle, back to Steven Torres. Back and forth we go. The Royals finally find a running lane here. They get past Torres. Now it's a foot race for Ruiz, but the shot on goal goes wide right. That was the first good luck Ecclesi has had in the second half. Back and forth we go here. That one out of bounds. Last touch by a Nighthawk. And a good denial there by Velasquez. Nighthawks look to continue pressuring the Royals here. And this will be offsides against Ecclesia College. Minkus kicks it into play. Steven Torres down to David Rubio. There's a scrum for it, a steal by the Royals. But the pass goes away out of bounds. May have a whistle here, may have a, uh, a penalty here. The officials are talking things over. Let's see who ends up with it. It will be Nighthawks' possession. Kenneth Velasquez. And there's a whistle as Andre Uriondo gets tied up with the Royal, goes down on the play. He's up, he's okay. Steven Torres with the kickoff for NPC. Uriondo finds Noah Searle. That one gets away from the Royals, backpedaling off the back of a Nighthawk. That one shot in towards the goal. De La Torre able to reel it in. Back in play we go. Couple of Nighthawks looking to get the steal. They do. Uriondo to Velasquez. Working across the middle. Velasquez boots that one in. Now it's a foot race. The goalie comes out and boots that one way out into the stands. See a lot of Nighthawk student athletes across the way in the stands. Some NPC faculty members also checking out men's soccer in action. They've heard the buzz around campus. Want to get a look at these guys for themselves. It's been a good year so far for Grant Gartner's men. We've got a sliding tackle here. It will be Ecclesia Ball.
And we're roughly halfway through the second half. NPC leads 2-1. The Royals took a 1-0 lead pretty much in the opening minute of the game. Took about 24 minutes for the Nighthawks to respond. All tied up, one apiece after 45 minutes. And then at the 56-minute mark of today's contest, Carlos Menendez got the lead for the home team. That one's booted away just to kind of tr create a little bit of space here. The Royals will have it, and it has been a better half for Ecclesia. We've seen them inside Nighthawk territory much more here in the second period. Throw in, do up. For Ecclesia. Royals moving the ball well. They will thread the needle. Paulino Ruiz comes in to grab it and end any potential threat of tying this game. Good positioning by Uriondo and the Nighthawks. Here's Patrick Chan. Ball ping-ponging between the two teams. Now kicked away. Two on one, Tobias Minkus has the size advantage. Get it back to the home team. We've got a whistle on this one. Nighthawks will have it. With about 20 minutes to go in today's game. Ozzy Diaz trying to make a play there. Gets knocked down. It's going to stay with National Park College. Steven Torres slowly dribbles it. A big kick coming for NPC. Ismail Garcia and Patrick Chan talking it over. Can the Nighthawks get it done? Garcia kicks it a tie. Close call for the Ecclesia Royals. That one kicked away. Nighthawks trying to get the ball back. Damian Soto down across the way. There was a collision. I believe it'll be Ecclesia's possession once we resume play. The Royals booted in. Inside the box, a header by NPC. The Nighthawks looking to get it out of there. They do. It's 
Stepping out of bounds are the Royals. That'll kick it back to the Nighthawks. They're going to throw it in quickly. They're going to try to catch him sleeping. Velasquez to Uriondo. NPC on the move. Down low, Ozzy Diaz has an opening. Passes it out. No one's there. Intercepted by the Royals. And Ecclesia will end the threat. Diaz not done. Looking to get that ball back. He does. To Ismael Garcia. Uriondo fires in souvenir over the head of NPC Athletics photographer Aaron Brewer. Always capturing the best moments of Nighthawk Athletics over the years. As a reminder, you can always see Aaron's work on our social media channels, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. We'll be posting our favorite moments from today's game on social media over the weekend. Nighthawks are trying to get win number four in a row. Royals on the move. A good stop by Steven Torres. Soto gives chase defensively. Downfield. Looking to turn it around. It's out of bounds, but there is a whistle. This is going to be National Park ball. Paulino Ruiz ready to launch. 15 minutes remaining in this contest. Nighthawks doing very well with their spacing here. Smart possessions, good ball movement. Paul Mace to bring it in. We see a lot of new faces entering the field for NPC. We see Manny Rodriguez in for Steven Torres. Cesar Becerra is coming in. For Damian Soto. This Nighthawk roster is deep with talent this year. Kevin Puente in the field as well. Nighthawks looking to make a move here. Here's Noah Searle. Down the lines, Paul Mays. Paul launches one up. Needed an assist. No one was there. Another good shot attempt by National Park College. Here's the kick. Big rejection by the Nighthawks there. What a header. Now one launch downfield. Ruiz, it gets past him. This game is tied. Ruiz came out to try to snag it. The ball had a little reverse English attached to it. And uh-oh, Ecclesia back on the board. A big goal for the Royals. Thirty-two minutes into the second half. It's anybody's ball game tied to a piece. Roughly 12 minutes to play in regulation. 
The Nighthawks looking to put their foot on the gas here. They won't be satisfied with a tie in this one. That one launched ahead into Nighthawk territory. The Royals playing with a little extra momentum. Paulino Ruiz reels it in two-handed. Making sure nothing gets past him here. Uriondo makes his way down the field. Cross the way to Noah Searle. Knocked out of bounds. Nighthawks will have it. Roughly about 10 minutes and some change left in this one. Nighthawk ball. And a quick throw in. You can see the Nighthawks turning up the tempo here. Ozzy Diaz trying to turn it around. Good spacing. That one kicked downfield. Return to sender. The Nighthawks will get it back to the back of the line. Toby Minkus. And Ecclesia will have it. Nighthawks able to save that. And it's going to go out of bounds. Nighthawks will have it. Kevin Puente to kick. Sends his men downfield with a booming jolt. A header from Searle. Diaz, no play to be made there. It's kicked away. The Nighthawks are going to try to keep it in bounds. Garcia, he does. I believe it's last touched by a Royal. No. It will be Royals' possession. An estimated eight minutes or so remaining in regulation here. The Royals 0-3 on the season. I mean, let's face it, no team wants a tie here. But the Royals would love nothing more than to come out of here without a loss. They haven't had many opportunities, but they've taken advantage of that window when it opened. Toby Minkus, a booming kick downfield, feeded by Diaz. Nowhere to go for Paul Mays. And a deep throw in. Minkus just knocks it away. Inbound. 
A header. Knocked away by the Nighthawks, but the threat's not over yet. There's some space. Noah Searle trying to get it downfield. Just get it away. And they do. Around midfield taken by the Royals. There's a foul against the Nighthawks. And we'll see how things end up here. Deep kick on its way by the Royals right on the money. Paulino Ruiz is there to catch it. What a save by the Nighthawks. Now the ball is knocked away from Ozzy Diaz, giving pursuit of the Royals not in time. Nighthawks throw it in quickly. Ismail Garcia has it knocked away. It's out. Nighthawks playing quickly here in the closing minutes of the second half. Nighthawk knocked down on the play as Uriondo goes down. Andre Uriondo holding his ankle. He's up and he appears to be okay. So the Nighthawks will have it. Inside Royals territory. Big free kick coming up here. Garcia boots that one in. No one there to advance it. It's out of bounds. Another souvenir for Aaron Brewer. And the Royals will take over. By my estimate, we have five minutes and some change left in the game. The Nighthawks took a 2-1 lead. 56 minutes into today's contest. The Royals poked another one through to tie it up. It's turned into quite the thriller here late. Diaz comes in aggressively, trying to make something of it. Can't get it. Nighthawks in pursuit as that one's booted into NPC territory. Manny Rodriguez, nowhere to go. That one is knocked away wide left of the goal, out of bounds. And NPC has it right back. Tobias Minkus has it lined up to kick for the Nighthawks on its way. Fielded halfway down the field. NPC trying to do something with it. It's knocked out. National Park College will keep it. Cesar Becerra trying to make a big play for the home team. Becerra is Knocked down from behind as he tries to make a header. There's a foul, and that's going to advance Nighthawk Nation up further. In the Royal Territory here. With less than five minutes to play, the Nighthawks looking to punch one in late. That one launched in deep. Diaz, cross the way, and he gets it into the corner of the net. Ozzy Diaz gets it done. You couldn't have drawn it up any better for that second-year player for National Park College. Diaz puts the Nighthawks up front late in the second half. Ever since he came in in the second half, he was waiting for his time to shine and a lot of great moments down deep in enemy territory. And Diaz comes up big for the Nighthawks. Inside three minutes remaining in today's contest. In a 3-2 battle. 
Now the Nighthawks just need to play keep away. There's a good shot by Minkus to get it downfield. Nighthawks into Royals territory. Noah Searle boots it down the other way. NPC on the attack. It's Cesar Becerra to Uriondo and now back down the field. Searle with an opportunity. And that one's going to be knocked away out of bounds. NPC will have it. Nighthawks will take their time with the throw in. Ismail Garcia. They'll lose possession. The Royals will take it. Headed downfield. Paul Mays is in pursuit. And it's a foot race. Coming the other way, Minkus with the charge. Trying to buy a team for the team to catch up. Poked away by Minkus, and it will be out of bounds. Ecclesia will have it inside Nighthawk territory. Pressure's on for the guys from Springdale, Arkansas. That one booted in. Minkus ahead of Ruiz reels it in. He'll roll it away. Down the field we go. The Nighthawks booted in Becerra downfield. Searle gives chase, and the keeper, De La Torre, comes out and gets it away. Nighthawk possession. In the closing moments of this one, a back-and-forth battle. Manny Rodriguez gets that one high and away. Felix Rocca, Carlos Menendez, Ozzy Diaz all coming up big with goals for NPC today. Making a big difference in this one. De La Torre able to boot that one up high and away. A good header over the back by NPC. Searle on defense playing tight. Ismail Garcia trying to get the ball back for the home team. A collision as Velasquez will have a hip bump with an Ecclesia Royal. Number 12, Jenner Farfin. The Royals will have it. And a Hail Mary attempt, if you will, to try to knot this game at three. Deep kick downfield. Ruiz is at the ready. Off of his hands, the Nighthawks are able to control it. Manny Rodriguez down the field, and he just wants to get it out of there. He does. Down the field, a great release. All the way back home to De La Torre. Paul Mays threads the needle. De La Torre is there to grab it once again. Royals have it inside Nighthawk territory. Becerra comes in. He's knocked down on the play. We've got a whistle. As time expires here at Hot Springs World Class High School, that's going to do it. NPC comes in with a goal late to take it 3-2. to two. The Nighthawks... Come away victorious in this one. They'll win their fourth in a row, and they'll stay undefeated as the calendar turns to the month of October. Goals today for number 19, Felix Rocca, number 11, Carlos Menendez, and the biggest goal of the day, number 23, Osvaldo Diaz. They call him Ozzy. Came in to break the stalemate and give Grant Gartner's guys their fourth win in a row. 
It's going to kick off a big weekend for Nighthawk Soccer. They take to the road tomorrow, headed up to Salem Springs. They'll take on John Brown at University. That's a 4 p.m. kickoff on the road. And then they're going to turn around on Sunday and head on down to Dallas College Cedar Valley. The women will be in action for the first time in a few weeks. So the men and the women will take on Cedar Valley on Sunday. The men are back in action tomorrow, Saturday the 1st at John Brown University. And for the Nighthawk men, it's all about October 9th. That's a Sunday. North Ark, the first conference game in Region 2 play this season. And that's the biggest one. Steven Torres talked about it in his halftime interview. It all comes down to NPC and North Ark. They'll have two matches, a home and an away. And that will decide which team will move on to represent this region as they have their sights set on the national championships. Once again, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for today's broadcast, Natural Hearing Centers, Washita Children, Youth, and Family Services, Allen Tillery Auto Group, CHI St. Vincent, First Security Bank, and Hot Springs Sports Medicine for their support of Nighthawk Athletics this season. I'm Mark Oliver. You can follow the Nighthawks on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. And we leave you today victorious here from Hot Springs World Class High School. NPC gets it done three to two. Thank you so much for watching the live stream on YouTube today. If you like what you saw, give us a like and a subscribe and get notified the next time we go live right here on the Nighthawk Network. We'll leave you today. This one's for the Hawks. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.